I guess a, you call it a tray or a stand that you're we in. My reasons for buying it are obvious. I don't I don't put my Wii in there. I just kind of just put it up there. I put some of the games in there. Uh, yeah, the little thing. We will check it. It's the Joy Force. There you go. You can see it now. Then we get one the crest of Hyrule. This is my sleeve jacket of choice. Then we got a Wii case and a CD case. It's not very big. It can it mostly can just hold the Wii as center bar. Not a, lot, not a lot of room in there. This is CD case. Some stuff I made. Uh, this was in a, a digital design class. We had to make a, a, a personal fan. So I, I guess I just decided to... Oh, you see what I did? Turned it out and I laminated it and stapled it to a little piece of wood. And it's a Zelda fan. And I can use it to move air into my face. An extensive playthrough of a Zelda game, I can use it to cool myself off. And this is supposed to be like stained glass. I made this a very long time ago in middle school. It's a construction paper, that's what the black part is, and everything else is a tissue paper. It's supposed to simulate the effect of a stained glass. Uh, we laminated it. It used to be a lot more colorful. But being in the sun for so long, it lost a lot of color. So that's what it is. Looks like nowadays. My finger point. And here we have the rest of my stuff. Mostly trinkets and figurines. This is a collectible Link action figure, which only his arms move up and down, so basically the only thing he can do is the monkey. For those of you who don't know, that's a dance. The shield fits on his arm weird, so I got some sticky tack and I made it go on there the way it should be. He is out of the box. I had a long, it took a long time to decide whether I wanted to take him out or not. But I decided to go ahead because I didn't, I'm just not going to sell it anyways. So I, I keep the box inside uh, the shelf with most of my solid collection and I keep the figure up on my desk. There's Ganondorf. He can only move his arms up and down also. He can move his head too. I think his legs move a little bit. And I just popped his leg off for some reason. Don't know why I did that. This is when Nintendo had toys at Burger King. This is a Link, a swordless Link, doing a spin attack on some thick scrubs. For some reason, he's attacking the Deku Princess in a Deku Palace inhabited chest and a thick scrub. There's only one bad guy, or enemy, on this, and that's the one at the very end. The two on the side are actually good guys, so it's kind of, kind of odd 
can see the mirror. This is a uh, link on a Pona from Majora's Mask. He's permanently bow legged. He can't stand up. He falls over. Uh -huh. He's a little bit more maneuverable than the other Link figurine. His shield comes off and top the hilt of a sword. And his hair comes off. I guess so you can put mask on him. But uh, the pack I bought, it just came. Link and the horse. I couldn't find any mask. And here's some pins and buttons. I don't wear pins or buttons, but I do like the Legend of Zelda, so I thought, what the heck? I'll just buy them, just buy them. Four swords. And this is a four swords thing, but it says Wind Waker there. So, what's up with that? Made in China, I think. This is a Triforce clock. But it's, it's not really a Triforce, it's just a shiny clock that's in the shape of a triangle. It just reminded me of the Triforce, so I bought it. Uh, this is a game and watch type game. It's uh, based off of Legend of Zelda. I think it's based off of Zelda 2, I think. It's all side scroller type stuff. It doesn't have any batteries in it right now, so I can't show you what's going on. I'll just show you what it looks like in off mode. Those little batteries. It takes those little disc batteries. Those are kind of hard to find. Well, not hard to find. It's just annoying. It's a keychain. There's a, a shield necklace. Don't wear it very often. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It's a shield necklace. This is my car key. It has a link on it. So, Link goes with me wherever I go. Me and Link go for rides all the time. This needs no introduction. It's a sweet potato ocarina. Ocarina. See, a replica of the Ocarina of Time. Minus a few holes. And that's that pretty much it, except we have some other stuff. This is a little tiny Zelda figure I found in a, a cord machine where you put your cord in and you get those capsules. We only had 50 cents at the time, so I could not get more than one. I got a Zelda. I wanted the Link. So, I had to leave, and by the time we got back, that machine wasn't there anymore. And uh, here's my wallets, my chain wallets. I wear both of them at the same time. One on the left and one on the right. They have different stuff in there. This is my left wallet. It has the import- oh no! It has- <laughs> It has the important stuff in it, like the credit cards and the- business cards and whatnot. I mostly put it on the left so I don't have to have that side facing my body because when you sit down and that piece of metal plastic stuff is facing against your body it kind of hurts. It leaves an imprint. This is the right side. This is where I would normally keep my gift cards and my ca cash which there's, I'm kind of broke right now. Anyways, yeah, there's it's got link on it. It's empty. It's got it's got a nice keys living in it apparently. There's my car. My '96 Chevy Cavalier. 
cherry force and the crystal purple on it. Here's some shirts. And two skull caps or beanies or whatever they're called. There's a hoodie. There's a, a link cap I got to go with uh, my Mario hat I got from Club Nintendo. And while getting that, I decided to get the SEL too. I don't wear them, I swear. Uh, this is also from Club Nintendo. It, the following these three came together. And this is a replica of the Hyrule Shield that I have. And uh, the Master Sword, which above it. And this is a shirt that I was wearing while I was making this. 